Welcome to this short webinar on high performance GPU clustering using NVIDIA GPU Direct RDMA featuring Chelsea's high performance RDMA over Ethernet iWarp. Chelsea Communications is a producer of high performance multifunction Ethernet adapters. These adapters, based on the fifth generation silicon T5, support 10 gigabit and 40 gigabit connections. Chelsea has been in business since 2000 with headquarters in Sunnyvale, California. In order to meet the computational demands of various workloads, graphical processing units, or GPUs, have been employed. CPUs have a small number of cores, while GPUs, in some cases, have thousands of smaller efficient cores, which makes them perfect to handle massively parallel workloads. NVIDIA, with their GPU technology, has been at the forefront in using and designing methods to incorporate GPUs to solve problems and subsequently into clusters. NVIDIA developed GPU Direct, which is, was a method that using the CPU, data could be moved over an interconnect between GPUs running on different systems. But then, someone said, what if the GPU could use remote data memory access, or RDMA, like CPUs can today? With that, GPU Direct RDMA was born. GPU Direct RDMA uses a verbs interface to move data from GPU to GPU with very little intervention by the CPU. Originally designed to be used by InfiniBand and then Rocky, GPU Direct RDMA is now available on Chelsea's iWarp. What is iWarp? iWARP is the ability to do RDMA over standard Ethernet with TCP IP. iWARP brings certain things to the table that competing technologies like InfiniBand and Rocky do not. First, it runs over TCP IP. TCP IP is tried and proven. Many, if not all devices on the Internet would not work without it, and as the old saying goes, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. TCP IP provides iWARP with some very important features like guaranteed in-order delivery and congestion control amongst others. In addition, where other competitors are suitable for running within a rack or data center, iWARP can run in a rack, data center, or even across a WAN and can do it without needing any special switches in the data centers like the ones that support complicated features like data center, center bridging and QCN. What we have done for GPUs is replace the transport mechanism between the nodes with iWARP from other technologies. Since iWARP and others all use verbs, this is transparent to the cluster. As stated previously, GPU Direct RDMA allows GPUs to transfer data between each other without having to use a CPU or host memory. As a result, it provides high performance, zero copy, as well as low latency. This slide shows the effect GPU Direct RDMA has over latency and throughput. As you can see, the throughput increases dramatically at around the 512 byte mark. Perhaps even more impressive is that latency across the whole range drops by two thirds. We show the command line used here to generate these results for those who may want to try this experiment at home. Micro benchmarks are nice, but they don't tell the whole story. We need to explore how GPU Direct or RDMA does when running some real-world applications. Chelsea has run two specific applications that show, one, how well the product performs, and more importantly, two, what the user had to do to get them running. The first benchmark is HoodMD Blue from the University of Michigan. This application is a general-purpose particle simulation toolkit. The second benchmark is an application Cafe Parallel. CAFE is an application that does deep learning primarily for image recognition. CAFE Parallel took the original CAFE and allowed it to run using MPI, in our case, OpenMPI, so that the training is split amongst the nodes in the cluster. In each case, to get the applications to run, all we needed to do was follow the included instructions on how to build the application. No changes to the actual code was required at all. Both HoodMD Blue and Cafe Parallel ran using iWarp as if it was running with one of the other transports. I cannot stress the importance of this. This slide shows the current Linux distributions and kernel versions that the current release version of GPU Direct RDMA has been tested on. 
So, in summary, GPU Direct RDMA provides the ability for GPU Direct RDMA to work over iWarp. iWarp enables the ability the, to do RDMA over a standard Ethernet network using TCP IP. Using TCP IP for the transport is huge since it is a mature and proven technology. iWarp does not require the user to purchase and install a whole new network infrastructure. Applications that use GPU Direct RDMA do not need to be changed to use iWarp as a transport. As seen previously, applications which use GPU Direct RDMA will see huge performance enhancements. Chelsea provides 10 and 40 gigabit Ethernet today, but 25, 50, and 100 gigabit Ethernet is on the horizon. For more information, go to chelsea.com for product briefs, white papers, and software downloads. GPU Direct RDMA is available today for download from service.chelsea.com. Thank you for listening.